Good morning everybody! Welcome back to another moving vlog. Look where I am. I'm back at the house. I must be so echoey right now. <laughs> I actually sound like I'm in a cave. It's just my living room. I very nearly didn't make it here this morning because I've woken up and I feel crap. First day of a cold, you know when you wake up and you're like, oh no, here it comes. Everything hurts. I'm aching from head to toe. Could be the end of me. So I've just FaceTimed back up north at home. I've given my mum and my stepdad and my brother the full tour. My stepdad's a bit of a handyman, so I was zooming in on like radiator valves and things. They seem to really like it. I think it's passed the test. Um, and I've just said bye to them. So now I probably need to do something a bit useful, don't I? I think I'm gonna choose one thing to clean really well. Maybe the bathroom sink, something, just so that I feel like I've made a bit of a start. I was gonna come and do a huge cleaning blitz, but I just don't feel up to it, I feel rubbish. And I've actually clicked the heating on for the first time. I figured out the heating. My mum and my stepdad very helpfully pointed out that in this cupboard, in the kitchen, this is what we need to use to put the heating on. So I've done that. The radiators all seem to be heating up really nicely, actually. Let's test this one in the living room because upstairs felt like it was getting a bit warmer. Oh yeah, okay, we're cooking on gas ladies and gents. So hopefully that'll just break that really icy feeling a little bit and it'll feel a little bit cosier and a bit more welcoming in here because that's the feeling at the moment that I'm trying to, trying to sort out and trying to get rid of. So I bought a few things with me today to make sure I can have a good start on things. Oh, by the way, if you haven't seen the last one, Adam's in York this weekend. It's literally the day after we got the keys. Uh, today's Saturday and he is in York till about two o'clock tomorrow. So in my bags of tricks with me today to attempt to do something useful, <laughs> I have bought, move over Mrs. Hinch, flash bathroom. Um, I think I might leave these here actually so that every time we come, we can clean a few bits. I bought some moppets. I bought my duster. <laughs> Although I don't think it's too dusty. I actually think he's probably given it a bit of a clean before he moved out, which is really nice of him. Um, but you just want to do it yourself, don't you? With all your own products and your own smells and stuff. I bought some cloths for the kitchen. What else have I got? A oh, little bag of keys. We've got so many keys. I bought my absolute favourite, the Method Antibacterial Spray. If there's such thing as having a favourite antibacterial spray, uh, this is mine. The Wild Rhubarb Scent. This just like smells like clean to me. I love it. Um, so that's what I use on all the surfaces. I did bring some floor cleaner with me, but then realised that I haven't got a mop here or a bucket or anything. I mean, I've got a plastic cauldron that was left in the shed, possibly. But this is really nice too. This is also Method. Not sponsored, but I mean, if the home sponsorships could start rolling in, that would be great. My bank account is uh, looking sorry for itself. This is the Method floor cleaner and this is the almond scent and it literally smells like Battenberg. And this might be a bit weird, but I bought um, a candle with me because I thought if I could burn a candle and have like a fragrance that I love in here, it'll make it feel a little bit more like home. Is that weird? So I bought the Yankee Candle maple sugar, which literally just smells like pure sugar. Um, but I thought if I burn this for an hour or two, give it a nice little homely smell, that'd be nice, won't it? <laughs> Can you tell I've got <laughs> no clue what I'm doing? So I'm gonna leave that burning. Oh, it looks like home already. There's something about candles, isn't there? Um, oh, what else is in here? Oh, I also bought the last of this Zaflora to um, try and scent the sinks a little bit. Let's try the hot water, see how long it takes to heat up. Well, I mean, this isn't heating up yet. Oh. There we go, there it is. Success. So how do I put this, is that filling? There we go. And let's have a cap for this. Lovely. Oh, that already smells so nice. Should we do cleaning first or, back or room? Let's do house tour first. Let's get that done, because I feel like these videos are a bit pointless until you've actually seen the house. <laughs> Who's ready to see the house? I can't hear you. <laughs> I said, who's ready to see the house? I'm chatting away to myself in a very empty home. My own voice is echoing off the walls. <laughs> I've never felt so insane. Okay, ladies and gents, so without further ado, please may I present to you our very own two bedroom, zone two London house. Here we go. Okay, welcome. Please wipe your feet when you come in. Actually, don't worry about it because we have no furniture and this carpet is not ours. Okay, we're in. There we go. So, once you've closed the front door behind you, this is what you're looking at. This is our front door. Um, it wouldn't be my personal choice, but it looks like we've got a nice sturdy lock. We've got a little spy hole here. We've got a functioning letterbox. So, I mean, 
what more could we need for now really? There's gonna be a real general theme here of it'll do for now. <laughs> this is a, gonna be a long-term project for us. I am not one of these magical YouTubers that's gonna be able to transform this within two months time. It's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna point out as we go, all the little ideas and inspo that we've got so far, all the very boring things that we need to do before we can do anything exciting. Um, and hopefully you'll see the same little vision that I've got. Fingers crossed that I'm just not crazy. So in our little, I mean, it's kind of a hallway, but I mean, it's literally a square of hallway. We've got these quarry tiles, which I actually think are quite cool. Um, they're quite sort of like rustic looking. They continue all the way into the kitchen, which I'll show you in a minute. They need a bit of a good scrub. I've kind of got a vision of turning them into a little bit of pattern tiling, maybe just this little square. I think that would be quite cool. But um, anyway, that's the little entrance as you come in. So to the left of the stairs over here, we have the living room, which looks a little bit like this. I don't know what to show you first. I don't know how to display this in the best possible way. So over here, we have a nice bay window. It comes out the side of the house slightly. And rather than being like a angled bay window, it's quite like a round with these nice like wooden frame windows. I really like the shape of those. I thought they were a really nice feature. Uh, we've got some interesting curtains going on right now they need to go <laughs> fairly soon as does the lovely cream walls um we've realized though that this is actually you might be able to see up here the wallpaper is peeling off here we thought it was just painted walls that we could go straight over but it's actually wallpaper as you can see the ceiling is this delightful dated textured effect also a really lovely very yellowed lamp <laughs> i do quite like the detail on that though i think that's quite pretty um but obviously at some point down the line we will get the ceiling skimmed and make it nice and smooth and a bit more modern but that's just not a priority yet it is for me but adam told me that's not a priority so <laughs> nice big radiator across the main front garden window here i'll show you that too actually we've got a nice little front garden uh i don't know if you can see we've got a little bench outside there I don't know when you'd ever sit out there really. Nice little private space with a big hedge. So <laughs> if it takes off fancy one day, we might wanna sit outside the front. And this window is the same shape as the other one as well. It's nice and rounded and comes slightly out of the house. So that's really pretty. Over to your left here, we've got a little bit of shelving space at the moment. I mean, I have no idea whether this is gonna stay or not, but for the foreseeable it is because it's a nice little bit of storage. Um, and once we've spruced all this paint up, it'll be a lot nicer and a lot fresher. I guess this is probably where a lot of people would put the TV, but we've got a massive telly. So we think we're gonna probably have the TV unit along here and pop the telly on there, because that's a nice blank wall to do something with. A little unit here, which we can use for storage and vinyls and goodness knows what else. We might put the vinyl player on there, I think. That'd be a nice spot for that. Uh, and then we've got a little fireplace, which I really, really love. I love a fireplace, which is lucky because we've got quite a few of them in this house. It's closed off at the moment, but the surveyor told us that there is potential to open it up if we wanted to install like a log fire in there. So that's really exciting. I think that would make it so homely and nice and cozy and warm. Um, and then it bends around into this slightly strange little alcove which we weren't sure what we were going to do with. Um, the ceiling goes slightly higher behind this ridge here um, and there's a little light which comes on. Previous owner had a little tiny dining table tucked in there which is quite a nice idea but I don't know how often we'd use that really so we're thinking maybe we'll have a nice bookcase and a lamp and a little armchair next to the fireplace maybe and make it a little bit of a reading nook or I don't know just a little cozy space and then over here this is quite handy although <laughs> it looks a bit terrifying uh, this is a little under the stairs space that we've got needs a little bit of a spruce up hasn't even got any floor uh, and all the, the stairs are exposed here to God knows how many spiders are down here. But I guess for now we'll just use this to chuck the hoover in and golf clubs and all the annoying things that you never have room for. This is what this cupboard will be for. So in the very long run <laughs> with this room, I mean, it's not going to be anytime soon. But we're thinking that we'd quite like to have this wall like open almost and have almost like an open banister. We'd sort of get rid of this wall and have it more of like an exposed set of banisters kind of like our um, stairs in our living room in the flat so that's the kind of <laughs> dream that we've got for this room i don't know it'll be at least probably a year or so i don't know we'll see how it goes we've got laminate floor at the moment but this also needs to go <laughs> it's pretty gross it's not in great condition it's slightly sticky which is a little bit alarming anyway that's our living room that's the blank canvas <laughs> that we're working with right now 
I think it's got a lot of potential. I think we can make it a really, really nice space. We're thinking maybe like a bit of a corner sofa here or like a sofa with a little chaise long that comes out here. Right, so living room, that is that. Then you've got the stairs here, as I said, and then you swing around to the right and you've got our heating control right here. You've got the front door on your right here and then you walk through into our little kitchen. Quarry tiles continue all the way through here. It's funny though, because over here where the fridge was, you can see the color that the grout is supposed to be. Let me turn McFly off. Yeah, you can see the color that the grout is actually supposed to be. My stepdad was saying I can get some kind of washer or steamer or something for this. Over on the side, we've got the door. There's a little radiator tucked behind here. These are heating up really nicely, actually. It's really taken the chill out of the house, which I'm pleased about. Um, so this is the one-sided kitchen. We've got cupboards up here. I mean, it's not my cup of tea, and obviously it's not super shiny Instagram central kitchen, but it's absolutely fine for now. It's completely livable. I mean, we're just gonna, this is just it for now, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, we've got the extractor up here with a little glass splashback. I'd love all this to be tiled. Dark wood effect, countertops, which are, you know, absolutely fine. We've got a gas hob, which Adam is really excited about because we have an electric one in the flat and he's never particularly got on with it very well. So going back to good old school gas, uh, we've got the oven. I think it's a, a Whirlpool oven that we've got. Um, and it's actually pretty clean. I was expecting to have to bring my oven pride over with me and get scrubbing, but it looks all right. We've got a couple of nice big drawers. Oh, oh, I did not realize this had anything in it. I think this is a handle for a wardrobe. Uh, interesting. Okay, I'll investigate this after. <laughs> couple of nice drawers for cutlery and stuff. We actually don't have a single drawer in our current kitchen, so that is a real luxury for us. Uh, we've got a few big cupboards, which are the dream because we can actually start doing online food shops. Over here, this is kind of bulky. I kind of hate this. We're gonna have to do something about this when we get the kitchen done. Uh, but the boiler is actually here. It's a pretty new boiler, so that's great. Um, and then in these cupboards here is just like heating controls, fuse box, gas meter, all that really practical, useful stuff that you need when you're a grown up. And then this is the other side of the kitchen. So we've got a little wine rack, how fancy. Uh, we've got this cupboard here, which is for all your spices and all sorts of stuff. We were surprised actually because we didn't think this was getting left behind, but he has in fact left us a little dishwasher, which is great news. Saves us a few hundred quid. Uh, this is the sink. I've got a bit of the floor in there at the moment, so excuse the water. Um, this is the sink, which I actually really like. Couple of big cupboards up here. This is the big gap where the washing machine needs to go. We need to grab ourselves a washing machine at some point. Uh, so there's just a, currently a nice big hole in the kitchen, which is always really appealing. <laughs> Under the sink, you've got your U-bend. Great. <laughs> and then this is the gap where the fridge was, which I guess we will also use for the fridge. Um, and that's the kitchen. It's okay, isn't it? The big dream, which we'll get to one day, is that we are actually hoping and dreaming of extending this back wall out a little bit because here's the little sneak peek of the garden. I'm not gonna go outside because it's so soggy today. Nice little tree, who knows what that is. We can grow some veggies and flowers and have a lawnmower and it'll be lovely. So domesticated and wholesome. But as you can see, we've actually got quite a lot of patio area there, which I mean the potential to bring this back wall out and make the kitchen maybe slightly bigger. So it makes no sense for us to kind of knock all this and get a new kitchen and knock all the bathroom down and get a new bathroom because hopefully we're gonna bring this back wall out a bit and do all that after an extension. So <laughs> that's the kitchen. Hope you like it. I'd say I'll put the kettle on, but I haven't got one. To the left of the back door, we then have the bathroom. So I guess for a lot of people, it's probably pretty unusual to have the bathroom on the ground floor next to the kitchen. But in these kind of like terracey, London 1920s cottagey kind of houses, um, it's like common. Every single one we went to see had the bathroom downstairs. So it's just something you gotta get over if you want a little house around here, I think. I mean, there ain't much room to swing a cat. Not that I'll be swinging flow anywhere around these parts, but uh, it's a bit of a tight squeeze at the moment, hence why we're thinking an extension might be a good idea. Excuse my sponge, I've just finished cleaning this, that's why it looks so sparkly and beautiful. Um, but we've got the sink here, got a little mirror here. Hey, clean as chic over here. And then the bath. Um, not the dream bath, but hey, it's a bath, that'll do for now. And the shower situation looks a bit like this. Not sure about the choice of cabinet, gotta say. Bit haunted mansion, 
slightly. That sits just above the loo there, which looks a bit like that. The quarry tiles come straight through to the bathroom too. Got a little heated towel rail here actually, which is quite a nice little touch. It warms this space up quite nicely, so that's cool. Um, and then just around here, little frosted glass window to the garden, and there's my feather duster. <laughs> but that has a blind that we can pull down as well, so that's cool. Um, so that's our teeny tiny little matchbox bathroom. Pipe dream that we're contemplating, but we're gonna have to really save up for because it's very far away on the horizon right now, even dreaming of having the money to do this. But in the long term, we're hoping to bring this back wall out of both the kitchen and the bathroom, bring that out, maybe widen this bathroom wall slightly to give a bit more room sort of between the bath and the sink and everything, just widen this out slightly. So that is downstairs. Told you it was little. This is what you get if you stick around central London. This is what you're paying for. I just love it though. Now that I've spent time in here today and it smells homely now that I've cleaned and I've got candles burning and stuff, I'm feeling so much happier with it. Like I feel, I've got a good feeling about it. I think we're gonna make it amazing. But anyway, do you wanna see upstairs? I'm thinking we're gonna take this carpet out, have wooden stairs and then maybe a runner going up the middle. I like a carpet runner. I think we'll get rid of this as well. Um, especially if we've got the banister here, we won't need that. But anyway, another long-term pipe dream. But head up the stairs. And then straight ahead of you is the world's tiniest, tiny dollhouse landing. And then I'm gonna swing you right up here because we've actually got a loft space up here. Wow, this is so echoey. We haven't investigated this yet. The surveyor went up there to check out the roof situation, which is how we got the great news that we do indeed have a soggy roof. So there's definitely potential to make it usable, maybe even its own little room, maybe even a third bedroom or whatever. So that'd be really cool. But <laughs> we'll deal with that once we own a bed. So to the left over here, we have the main bedroom. And I feel like the first thing that you notice is the floorboards. This is the kind of floor that we have in the flat at the moment and I just love it. It's my favorite kind of flooring. I just feel like it makes everything look so rustic and homely. So yeah, really happy with the floor. Looks like it maybe might need a bit of varnish because it's quite patchy. Uh, I think you can kind of see where the bed has been and stuff. And then over here, we actually have a couple of built-in wardrobes. Perfect for us while we don't own any furniture basically. Um, it means that we don't have to buy wardrobes for a while, so that's great. Um, this one's pretty good because it's got some hanging space, which is perfect. It's got folding space up there for suitcases or whatever. It's got nice shoe space, um, and it's a really good size as well. There is this big gap at the top, however, and we're thinking there might be a bit of damp across there because we've got those problems with the roof, and we need the roof sorting. Uh, we're thinking that looks like it could be some damp, which we need to investigate before we do much else. We've got that wardrobe, which is handy. There's a little bedroom window there. I think we're gonna have the bed down the middle here. We've ordered a king size, and I think that's probably the right size for this room. Then you scoot around here. I can't really show you out the window, obviously, but that's the main kind of like front window of the house. Got a nice big radiator along there. And then around this way, we have another wardrobe. So lots of storage sorted already. This one's pretty much exactly the same, but just doesn't have the built-in shelving bit. <laughs> you can tell how sort of like dreary and gray everything is. It just needs a little bit of love. Similar to the living room, we've got this delightful textured ceiling. What were people thinking? Textured ceilings, what, what you want to <laughs> But then you come down and it redeems itself slightly because we have a fireplace in our bedroom, which I absolutely love. I just think it's so pretty. I even quite like the little tiles that are in there. I'm guessing we can have some kind of little plant in there or I don't know we'll do something cute and creative with that and then there's this little like slate hearth as well so that's like the main feature and then we'll have a nice big mirror on here or something that'd be quite nice that's the bedroom door so this one's going to be our bedroom I don't think this needs too much doing to it really the big thing is that we've got to get the roof sorted before we can do much else as you can see like there's quite a lot of shading up here which looks a little bit dodgy I'm gonna go for quite sort of like wooden neutral bit of a 70s vibe all over I think because it's quite a small house we need to kind of continue the theme all through it really I think rather than having lots of different things going on um, and I think the whole house lends itself quite well to being quite neutral and earthy tones and chilled out yeah I'm really excited to start putting it all together actually just <laughs> one thing at a time and last but not least you come out of the main bedroom 
you do a little hop, skip and a jump. And then this is the second bedroom, which will be the spare bedroom and also my office. And it's very similar, it's just slightly smaller, but it has a cupboard tucked away on the end here. And this is, what is this? This is the hot water cylinder. I think tucked away in here, it's got a pretty dated heating system. So that's something we're gonna have to replace one day. All these exciting things, hey? Who told you buying a house was fun? This is basically just full of things that I don't understand and I don't want to learn about. So we're just gonna shut that door. Little window there to brighten the space up. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. My mum told me what this was called earlier, but I can't even remember for the life of me. Got a nice big radiator along here to try and heat things up. And then last but not least, the third and final fireplace. I'm not sure how well the camera's gonna pick this up because this is a dark one, but I'm hoping you'll be able to see the nice little bits of detail here. It's really pretty. This one only goes this far, um, but I still think I can do something nice with this. Haven't quite worked that out yet. It's got a little mantelpiece on it there. Um, and then this is just a little blank wall here. So I think this is going to be a really lovely office for me as well. I think maybe my desk can tuck in nicely over there. I could maybe use this wall here as a filming background. If we have like a, a sofa here that can be a sofa bed for guests that I can maybe also sit and film on. That might be quite cool tucked in there. I don't know. I think it's got, it's got loads of potential to be a really cool, quite inspiring like workspace. And I think this distance here is big enough for me to film like full length fashion stuff too so you won't have to stress about me falling down the stairs anymore <laughs> i'm sure lots of you will be very pleased to hear so that's that that's our little house i hope you like it i was gonna film some cleaning clips and stuff but adam's mom's actually coming over to give me a hand so i really hope you guys enjoyed having a little tour of the house i mean compared to some of the videos you see on here it's not a mansion it's just a very nice cozy little house that i feel happy about i think we're gonna make it amazing i keep like daydreaming about it and i can see it i can see it as it's supposed to be for us it's just gonna take us a while to get there we I, I can't remember if i told you but we're sort of thinking it will be the house we want in five years time basically when we can keep saving and then doing something and then saving more money and then doing something we'll get there in the end if you have done something similar to this it'd be great to know like what your best starting point was i know the things i need to do today are sort out some smoke alarms because we've got a bloody smoke alarm how bad is that before we can spend the night here or anything we need to have smoke alarms so that's my priority today i've got to do the meter readings make sure we don't get swindled by the gas and electric and it's tricky because i just want to dive in and paint all the walls and get the new flooring done and stuff but if we get a new roof i mean is there much point in doing anything until we do that should we just get all our stuff in and just start living in here i don't know what the best thing to do is but i've really enjoyed spending some time in here today it feels more like ours now that i've been in here and got my hands dirty and got my flora around <laughs> mrs hinch move over anyway that's it done and dusted i really hope you enjoyed having a little look around hope you're enjoying the moving vlog so far let me know what else you'd like to see let me know where you think we should start let me know what you think our priorities should be if you've done this before we need all the knowledge and help and advice we can get so i'd be really up for it share your wisdom share the wealth with me this is going to be such a learning curve and a learning experience for us but it's going to be a really exciting one i feel so much more positive about it today after spending some time here i love the little details of it i love the potential of it I'm really looking forward to just nurturing it and seeing what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy these, if you're enjoying the moving vlogs, if you want to see more, then give it a little thumbs up so I know. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well if you are new around here. And I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.